Hey guys, Brett here. So in this video, it's not so much of a tutorial, but it's more about guide. I want to give everybody some tips on how to use AI Authority Builder to get the very most you can from it. So one of the first things that you have to ask yourself is what is the niche of your site going to be? And you can actually see I have two test sites up here. One of them is 3D printing and one of them is woodworking. And what you'll notice is that these niches are pretty general. They're not very niche down. For example, 3D printing to make money online from home would be a very niche down site topic. And that's great for a niche website, a static website. And I've built software that creates these kind of websites. However, AI Authority Builder is about building a website that you constantly update and add new content to. Because of that, you want to have a more general website topic, like 3D printing or woodworking. Both of those things are much more general. When you pick your site topic also, it's generally a good idea to pick a topic that you're interested in, something that you personally enjoy or like. If you pick a topic that you're interested in, it's going to be a lot more fulfilling and a lot more fun to build your site out and to be constantly updating it. Even though you don't have to write the content yourself, you're going to find that it's more fulfilling running a site based on a topic that you're interested in. So let's go ahead and click on new site and create a new site. And in this particular site, I'm going to call it home gardening. So one of the things that my wife and I actually enjoy doing is growing our own fruits and vegetables on our property. So this is a topic that I'm interested in. And it's also a more general topic, which allows me to create web pages in a vast variety of things related to home gardening. So I'm going to go ahead now, I'm going to click on make site and it's going to go ahead and create my site. Now, the first thing I want to do after creating my site is go ahead and edit it. Now, probably the most two important things on the site are going to be the look of the site. An authority site has to look good. If it doesn't look good, it's not going to be taken too seriously. One of the things you want to do right away is go ahead and add an image for your site. So you can see down here it says site images and you can upload a PNG file. Now, you can go ahead and try to create an image if you're a graphic designer, but most of us aren't graphic designers. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and get a free image that you can use for your site image. You can actually have multiple images if you want, but you should have at least one. So in order to get an image, I'm going to head over to a website called Pixabay. Now, Pixabay is a site that you can get tons, there's millions of royalty-free images. What this means is you can use these images for free in any way you want. So I'm going to go ahead and type gardening into the search box here. And I'm going to see what's available. All right, so there's a ton of cool images that I could use here. I'm going to go ahead and find one that's related to what I'm more interested in, which is like vegetable gardening. You can see there's one right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. I'm going to download this particular image. I'm going to download it in the 1920 by 1279 format. We'll click on download and I'll save that to my computer. Okay, now I got that image. I can take it back over to AI Authority Builder and I'm going to go ahead and upload that image to AI Authority Builder. All right, now I got a pretty cool image and if I wanted to, I can add in more as well. I'm going to go ahead and select the layout template that I want. There are three options. And unfortunately, it's not very descriptive what the options are, but the easiest thing to do would be to open up your site once it's built in another tab and then change the templates so you can see which one you like best. I'm going to go ahead and select my background color and my background texture. Now you can see I have an image here with some vegetables in it, so I don't really want like a black background or a bright green background or a bright red background. I want something that kind of looks pretty good, that kind of fits into that soft tones of these particular vegetable image. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a color, just a light gray. Okay, I'll pick my background texture, and again, you can play with the different textures to see what they are. And I'm going to go ahead and enter in my header text. The header text is going to be something that describes what the site is for. So I'm going to put that in there. I'll put the same text in my site title. And now I have some other options that I can put in here, such as my contact email, my social media links, my disclaimer, my keywords. I'm not going to put them in right now because they're pretty self-explanatory. And I think everybody should know what they are. So I'm going to go ahead and click on update settings. I'm going to save my settings. And now I want to go to site pages and I want to create my first page. 
Now, the first page that I want to create is going to be an authority post. I want people to know that there's actual content on this site and not just a bunch of ads or reviews or things to make me money. You have to give a little bit of both. You have to have some authority content and some money making content as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on new page. Now, remember, my site is home gardening. So I'm going to make a first page that is logical for a site on home gardening. And I'm going to type in introduction to home gardening. I'll put that in my page title, I'll put that in my page topic, and I'll make sure that I have authority post selected, and I'll go ahead and click on continue. Okay, so now I got my first page, I can go ahead and click on edit this, and I can add in some more content, I can add in some more images and stuff if I want, and I may do that later, I may also add in some links and stuff at some point, but for right now, I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm just going to go back to my sites, and I'm going to have a look at the site and see if they like the way it looks. So I'll go ahead and click on the little magnifying glass icon, I'll check it out. And it looks pretty good. I like that image. Um, I can try some of the other templates. Let's go back to AI Site Builder and edit this and have a look at some of the other templates. I'm going to move it to template three because I kind of like that one for this type of site. Click on Update Settings. Okay, it's updated. And now I can go back to the website and refresh it and see what it looks like. All right, so now we got Brett's Home Gardening Guide. I think I might change the texture color and the background color a little bit. Maybe make it a slight green color. Ah, maybe in a different color. Let's go ahead and try around. The great thing about this is you can easily update it and play with it to get it the way you want. Okay, so this is pretty good for now. I decided to go with a slightly darker background color. It looks a little better to me. And again, you can change it as you want. And if I decide I'd like to change it, I, or if I change, say, for example, my banner image up there, and I might want to change the color as well. You can always update this stuff later. Now, underneath here, you can see on this particular template, it's got my list of pages right here underneath the main content. And that way is where people will be able to click to see the other pages on my site. So what I want to do now is continue adding some more content that is relative to the topic of home gardening. So to do that, I'm going to go to site pages and I'll select another new page. We want to do another authority post. And in this particular one, I'm going to type in tools needed to get started with home gardening. I'll go ahead and click on continue and I will let AI Site Builder build this page for me. Okay, so now I have two pages on my site, one introducing to home gardening and another one tools needed to get started with home gardening. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in a page for monetization. You want to have some monetization pages, as I said, you want to have a mix of authority posts and monetization posts. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and click on new page and I'm going to enter in a page title that's going to be related to a product that I'm going to be promoting. And for this particular monetization, I'm going to be using an Amazon product. So I'm going to enter in a page title and these are in the link to that Amazon product, which is incidentally a 10 piece gardening tools for beginners. I'm going to go ahead and click on product reviews and make sure that I have that page type selected. And then I'm going to go ahead and enter in my link text and my link URL. Now for the link URL, I'm just going to enter in the URL of the product on Amazon, like I did for the page topic. But generally speaking, I would use my Amazon affiliate link. For this, I'm going to go ahead and enter in, click here to buy under the link text, and I'm going to click on continue. Alrighty, now I have my new post. It's a review of the 10-piece gardening tools for beginners. And of course, it's going to have my affiliate link on the bottom. But I do want to make one really quick change to it before I continue. So here's the product that I reviewed on Amazon. What I want to do is go to the image and I want to right click on it and I want to click on open image in new tab. You can now see I have the image here of this particular product. I'm going to go ahead and save this to my computer. Okay, I have it saved to my computer. I'll go back over to the system. And I want to add this image inside of here. So what I'm going to do is put it right here. I'm going to click on the image icon right here. I'm going to upload that image from my computer. Click on send it to server. And I want to put a border uh, spacing around it. We're going to like 20 pixels, 20 pixels. And I want it to be on the left alignment so the text is on the right. I'll go ahead and click on OK, and I now have my image inside of my review as well. 
click on Save Changes, and I can exit. Let's go back and check the site out again. And you can see I now have my new posts inside of here. So what I have very quickly is a good looking mobile responsive website that's full of content that I did not have to write. I have monetization posts that make me money. And I also have authority posts that give information to the site users and help me rank inside of Google. And I've done this very quickly. Now, moving forward, what I want to do is continue to post new pages, either an authority page or a review page every few days to this site. Remember, an authority page is a site that you constantly update with new and rich content. At this point, since AI will write the content for me, my only job is to think of new post ideas related to home gardening. Think of myself as the, the guy controlling the editing process. My job is to just think of new things, new topics, new subjects related to home gardening that I can have AI post for me. And of course, every once in a while, I'll throw in a review of an Amazon product so I can make some money as well. Okay, so that's some tips on how to use AI Authority Builder effectively. If you have any questions, please feel to reach out to me. Thank you and enjoy.